Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna do another quick video today. Um, I just set up my new Fluval Chi aquarium. I've had it for a while and never had it set up. I don't know why, but I just uh, grabbed some stuff. I made a real simple setup for now. And got a nice, really nice blue beta. Um, and I set mine up pretty differently which uh, I feel like is going to be way better especially for what I'm going to do with it I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos you know I change everything all the time so but for right now I have if you see in there in the bottom of where the filter is underneath that you know top thing there's I have Fluval Biomax in there it's the smaller ones but I love that stuff and uh, I already had some from my old not old, but my uh, my fluval canister filter, and I took a couple out to seed it. The bacteria. I also had some fluval bacteria stuff, um, and then I threw on the top a little rock cup thing with a little Buddha in the top. It was actually in my other 10 gallon planted tank, but he was getting covered up by plants, so I threw him up there, his little top piece. Um, I actually plan on making this thing extremely Asian themed. Um, I might throw a couple live plants in there. I might throw a couple of Nubius Nana, um, maybe a Java Fern, maybe some Java Moss, even some lower light plants, obviously, because it only has that. I think it's like an eight LED light. It's not bad, but it's definitely not good. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I really like it. It's a cool little tank. I like I said before, I love Fluval products, and I mean, it kind of reminds me of like the Apple products of the fish tank world. It's just all so simple and elegant and clean and easy to use. I mean, I don't even use Apple products, which is hilarious, but I mean, I admire their things. But yeah, I have this in my living room and it's a cool little tank. The only thing that I really, really don't like about it is that, you know, and it would make me live plant it, you know, instantly, but you cannot shut off the light without shutting off the, f well I mean you can, but you cannot put a light timer on it. You cannot put a light timer on this light because the plug, there's just one plug and it's for the filter and the light. So if it were to go off, the filter would go off and that's pointless. So that's the only really big downside to it. That's why I'm not really kind of looking to plant it much. Um, for now I just have that beta in there. I'm probably not going to keep the beta too much. I like him, but I honestly didn't even pick him out, <laughs> but uh, I was kind of even thinking of dwarf puffers to throw in there. I think that, I thought that might be kind of cool, but I kind of want to keep like an Asian theme going. It looks, I mean, it's Fluval Chi. It looks Asian as, you know, all crap. I want to put a large Buddha statue in the middle of it, kind of get, maybe get rid of that pot in the middle. Put a large Buddha basket or a Buddha statue in the middle with some bamboo type things or other plants. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I said I change everything all the time. My other tank has just gone through so many changes. But uh, so yeah, that's what I got for now. And I would honestly suggest anyone that has a Fluval Chi, I don't know if anyone has ever thought of that, because I haven't seen it, but it just makes so much sense. Put, you know, biological media in there. The tiny little filter pads you can get for it are, you know, crap. So. I got a good, I have a whole, almost a whole pack in there. I still have a couple, probably like a little handful in my other canister filter. And then there's maybe like three or four left in the package. So for the most part, it's, it's filled up. And I think it'll do great. It looks real nice. I like it a lot. I got the lid for it because I have cats. There's one. <laughs> she doesn't like to be on camera. Oh, kitty. Yeah, she's showing off. <laughs> the other one's over there sleeping. Like a lazy bum. But yeah, they've already actually tried to get into it once. That uh, that treasure chest right there is one of my favorite things I own. It has you know the liquor bottles in them in it, and it had shot glasses like right there. As you can see, I only have two left because. QT jumped up on there and was sitting on top of the treasure chest and when I yelled at her to get down she flung off of it and kicked out the treasure chest from underneath her and it shattered the two glasses which thankfully that's the only thing it did break but 
I don't know, I was worried that they were going to keep jumping on here, but they haven't. They left it alone after that, I think that scared her enough. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Alright, thanks.